All right, make my video here for you guys. Gold is still in the uptrend. You can see on the four hour, even on the daily, it's still uptrending. Almost to 1270 here. Uh, it's already breaking above the middle band here. Once it breaks that, we'll probably be looking at 1275. Uh, let's see here. Dollar, the dollar on the daily. This is creating a four, the fourth red candle. It did go up here. The pin bar touched here. Now it's coming back down. Like I said, there is really no point trying to keep buying the dollar. It only try, it only tries to retrace itself during the uh, the four hour and the one hour time frame. I'll I'll show, I'll show you guys that so you guys don't get confused. Uh, when there's retracements on the one hour, we can see we can see that overall it's a downtrend, but you can see where it bottoms out and it breaks here, breaks here, but it ends up retracing, hits here again, come back down. And so it's been on a it's been in the 93 uh, price pretty much this whole week. And I don't foresee it going back to 94 because of what is going on with the U.S. Uh, nothing really positive out of U.S. at all this week. And plus, we got the holidays. We got the holidays next week. So I'm really not expecting a whole lot of volatility. I'm not really expecting a whole lot of good, good news for the U.S. anyways. Probably not till after the holidays. Um, let's look at the four hour here on the on the dollar. So you can see that on the on the dollar on the four hour downtrend, okay, downtrend, and then it's creating another downtrend. So you can see how how strong this downtrend is. Candles are still below the the, the middle band and the moving average. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about here. That way I don't want to get I don't want to get you guys confused on on prices here. So if for some for some reason there's always going to be retracing for the US dollar trying to regain itself no matter what. USD CAD by far has dropped the most today because of Canada. Canada delivered some really heavy news. So you can see it's back down at one two seven zero. Uh, let me stop. This is on the four hour here. On the daily, it's not that far away to hit the the bottom band. So you'd be looking at one two six five and one two six zero. USD Swiss franc, on the other hand, is strong, but it is still struggling. So you can see it topped here. We topped at 91. Okay, so it topped out at 99,100. Came back down. Now it's coming back down. Now, most importantly, it is still on, on an uptrend, but US dollar has not really delivered anything to make to make it even better. So more than likely, USD Swiss Spring is gonna probably end up dropping back to where it started, which is the 98.6 and 98.4 here. Now if Euro drops, then USD Swiss Spring is gonna go up. Euro and US, Euro and U, uh, Euro, USD and USD Swiss rank are inverse pairs. Let's see, let's look at the USD JPY. USD JPY is still on an uptrend, 
but it is struggling around the 113.5 range. And now it's back down to 113.4. It is still, like I said, it is still on an, on an uptrend. We see it topped at 113.6, 113.4. So you're on a really tight consolidation uh, for mid-range price, 113. I would say 113.3. We're just lying here at one third. If it goes below here, it's, it's going to send back down at the 113.2. Now, if it if it stays here and builds this, then it's going to try and shoot for 113.8. But that would be the, the prices to take a look at 113.2 to come back down and 113.8 if it decides to go back up. Uh, let's look at Euro JPY and GBP JPY. So overall, uh, since Euro dropped, the Euro JPY dropped as well. And you see this little dot here has already been created. So basically what the dot is, the pair box are letting you know that uh, the price is starting to go down, which means a reversal. Hence the reason uh, while wow, Euro fell back. Uh, price to look for would be the 134. Now it breaks that, then we're looking for the 133. Because Euro JPY and GBP JPY are more volatile than USD JPY. They move a lot more, they move a lot more in pips than the USD JPY does. So they're more fast paced. I'll show you GDP, JPY. Now uh, GDP, JPY is still trying to keep itself up here, even though it fell back 151.4. And once it come back here to 152. If it does not break, if it does not clear 152 for a newer price at 152.2 or 152.4 here on the upper band on the far, it's just gonna send itself back down. Back to 150. So if it doesn't clear 152, then it's going to send itself back down. Okay, now let's look at Euro USD. Euro drop back. You can see how the, the four hour candle created the support here coming back up to 118.8. Uh, it looked it looks like it's going to try to break 119 again. On the day, like I said, by far, this is a uh, really strong, it's been really strong ever since Sunday. So, but we see here on the daily, that this is a critical resistance. The daily candle just got started today. And if it does not come back to 119, if this candle does not come back to 119, then we're, we're looking to sell it back to 117 here. But it won't hit 117 at, at the end of, of at the end of the week, but more than likely it'll probably go back down to 118. So we're looking so you so you have a daily you have a daily high price, a daily mid-range price and a daily low price. So that's way that way you guys can see what the mid-range price would be 118. And then the lowest price would be 117 if it decides to come back down that much uh, that much further down. And then if it breaks the 119, then it'll try it'll try for 120. So easy math for you guys to just calculate. But right now it's really struggling at the 118.6 range. So more than likely it looks like it's gonna send itself back down. So that way you guys don't get too confused here. On the pound. Pound is still down. You can see the uh, overall trend. There's a lot of pin bars, a lot of you know, doji candle, another doji candle here. Well, it hasn't closed yet, but you can see pin bars, pin bars, pin bars, and pin bar here, pin bar, pin bar, pin bar, another pin bar. So you can see overall it hasn't. 
it has not even decided to even come to break a new higher price on the daily. Overall, it comes up to where it was originally at and it just comes back down. You can see that. And so you can see how these two candles have this resistance point. These two candles have a resistance point. They have a resistance point here. They have the same resistance point here that created and also the same here. So with that, if 134 cannot be broken to stay above, then we're looking to sell it all the way back to 133 and 132. This is on the daily. On the four hour, the four hours on a really tight range. So right now it's trying to re regain itself. US dollar is dropping back because US dollar is under 93 now. So with that, it's going to try, like I said, there's going to be a lot of retracements today and tomorrow. So you, you would want to go with the 30 minute and the one hour chart in case, in case if it decides to bounce off the upper band or the lower band, if you're using Bollinger bands, if not, then you're falling from high price to low price, mid range price back and forth. Uh, last thing, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll look at Australia and New Zealand. Australian, Australia regained itself going right back up again. Uh, it's going to be looking for a new price, 70, 70, 77.2, possible um, 77.3. So right now, Australia is on a strong buy. It is still above. These candles are still above the uh, the moving average and the lower band uh, and the uh, middle band. So top price would be looking at for 75, 77, 500 on the daily. And I'm probably looking for probably two more solid breakouts on the upper band before he decides to come back down. If it keeps breaking out, then like I said, it'll probably try and shoot for 78. New Zealand should be on the same thing. New Zealand is still is still on the uptrend. So it's probably going to so it needs to try to hit this. Uh, what's this price? What's this price? That's not far away. Uh, one, 7244. More than likely, we, we would be looking at the 7500 and the 71 price since it's still uptrending. Okay, now back to the dollar. Dollar is still down. Even though it says 93 here on my phone, it says 92.8. So I'm going with the phone says. Like I said, using TradingView and using your phone is totally different because TradingView has their own own servers and own charts that they look at for their own pricing. So it all depends on what server they're using it from and what because uh, when you click if I click on the DXY you can see that it's I'm using NASDAQ whatever this index server's from or if I use CFD TVC because they're the ones that let you let you see uh, the the one minute to the to the monthly versus the other ones they only go off the daily so that's just if you're using um, that's just if you're using trading view here. And that's all I got for you guys. Like I said, be careful on all the retracements. Uh, the dollar is going to try and retrace itself during tonight and and tomorrow morning. And so, so just because it's dropping back right now doesn't mean it's going to drop forever. It's going to try and retrace itself back to ninety three again. But remember, the overall trend is that U.S. dollar and so far, yeah, like I said, so far the U.S. dollar is on a downtrend. Gold is still on uptrend. Uh, let's see here. 
Euro is still on, on an uptrend. Um, USDK is on, is on a strong downtrend. UC Swiss Franc, like I said, UC Swiss Franc is still, is still up there along with UC JPY. So they're going to try, they're going to be probably the only two pairs that are going to try and hit a higher price. Euro, like I said, Euro can't break 119. Euro's going to start drop that because Euro is at one, the Euro is at 118.6. And just like uh, the pound, if the pound can't break 134, it's going to send itself back down. Currently, the pound is at 133.7. So along with that, Australia, New Zealand is still on uptrend because of the, uh, what you guys see on the daily and, and the four hour. Other than that, uh, is there any, oh yeah. Whoops, forgot about this. There is a U U.S. government shutdown uh, at 6 p.m. tonight here, uh, 6 p.m. Central Time. So uh, be aware of that. This will have a, a huge effect on the U.S. dollar tomorrow morning. There's a lot of heavy news coming out for U.S. So that's why I said I wouldn't be surprised if U.S. tries to regain itself. I don't care if the news is bad or good. They're going to try, it's going to, it always tries to retrace itself during New York set at the, I don't, I don't, yeah, like I said, Fridays, it is so volatile within the first two hours of New York session. Remember, because London still overlaps for three hours with New York. So those first two hours are critical. There's going to be a lot of spikes and it's going to be a lot of retracements up and down. So like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if US dollar tries to regain itself with with uh, with the US dollar pairs. And so having that said, oh is that 730? Yeah, so having that said, just be prepared for that. I'll have my predictions out for that. And let's see what's up for London. Nothing really much for London except for the pound, the pound gross domestic product. So, I'll try, I think, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll try my best to stay up in London sessions as well. Have something going on for that. Okay, let me stop this.